is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you slap a like on this for me. Well, in a few hours, Gucci Man will be dropping his album, Everybody Looking. But everybody forgets. Everybody forgets. This girl that's been hanging around Gucci Man, his girl, Keisha Kior, or whatever, how do you, however you say her name, this caused a riff between Yo Gotti and Gucci Man. Nobody, everybody seems to forget right before Gucci Man went to jail, he made enemies with all of his friends. He, you know, Rocco, Waka Flocka, OJ the Juice Man, Yo Gotti, just to name a few. He went on this big Twitter feud with them, calling them all out, calling them fake, and all these different names, trying to sell rights to Waka Flocka's music and everything. And then he beefed with Yo Gotti, too. He started calling Yo Gotti out. First, it was because, oh, you're dropping your mixtape on the same day as me, 1017. But then the real reason came out because Yo Gotti was like, oh, I guess I smashed his girl and didn't know it. You know, like, I guess Gucci's ex was Keisha at the time, and uh, Yo Gotti hung out with her. She was in a video with him. And I guess he smashed. Well, Gucci took that personally because I guess he was really in love with her. And Yo Gotti even comments on this. And they're going to think that you're talking crap about Gotti and these other cats. And when no, you just, I said Gotti was cool until he turned into a buster. Right. So I wasn't saying that we wasn't even cool. I said we was cool until this point right here. Right. You had a few times on there. Man, the first time Gucci was tweeting me out in the studio, somebody sent it to me, and I called his phone like I'm six fine. times in a row. He also brought like on the six one. Mm. Got tape at the same day as his. Yeah, I mean, but he didn't say my name. He just like, why would a rapper do it? Mm -hmm. But you know, she didn't want nobody to get oh, coming out of man right. on the same day. So you know, I, I thought you had me for a check. <laughs> <laughs> then he went to jail and you started dating Ke Keisha Dior. Nah, then, then, then they were like. To me, I still felt like it was cool because, like, one of my partners was with me, and we all got a time. So Yo Gotti comments on it. So we know this, but this girl's back around Gucci Man consistently. This is a girl that's been with Birdman, Yo Gotti. <laughs> it's just like people forget that this happened. I, I can't believe nobody acknowledges this. Acknowledges this. Like this girl caused a rift between him and Yo Gotti. So nobody's addressing that Yo Gotti and Gucci Man still have a beef with each other. Notice that Gucci, uh, I don't think Yo Gotti's on Gucci Man's album. I mean, he's not on the track listing. But now there are a lot of people that Gucci Man's supposedly cool with. Like, 2 Chains is not on it. And remember, they had a riff at one point. Small one. It was under the radar. Uh, Waka Flocka's not on it. So if, if, even though Waka Flocka tweeted out the album's coming out, he still didn't uh, go. I, maybe he'll be at the show tomorrow, but he's not on the album. And that's kind of weird. So this is like really weird. I, I mean, I, do we like the Gucci Man that's out now? I mean, the music's cool, but like, you know, we also like Gucci Man for the personality. And, you know, nobody's addressing this beef. Nobody's questioned him on this beef he has with Yo Gotti. And we still want answers about this, especially because you're still with the girl that Yo Gotti smashed and that you had a problem with him over. It's just funny to me, you know, like, I don't know what you guys think about it, but like, it's just weird, man. Like, Yo Gotti smashed your girl, bro. Like, and then you guys had a real problem over it. Like, you are you were friends before that. It's supposed to be, like, you're not supposed to let these girls get in between you guys. Like, friendships, you know? Like, I've never let a girl get in between me and my friends. You know, it's like, you've been in a friendship with somebody for years, and a girl comes out of nowhere, you know, um, you know, um, <laughs> and then it messes everything up between you guys. You guys had a real friendship. You guys weren't really friends, I guess. So uh, this is corny. And then, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't even know where I'm going with this, but it's fucking weird, man. Uh, and, you know, nobody's brought it up, so I'm going to bring it up.